This is Craig with Karshalton Advisory. Today we're going to go through the practice tasks for section 1.4 of the Excel Core 77727 exam. Let's get started. To start with, we're going to open the Excel 1.4 workbook. And now that it's open, we're going to hide column A. Now, I'm not a big fan of hiding columns, and in most cases, I'm going to encourage you not to do it. But, but there are certain circumstances where it may be worthwhile. Uh, I think an important part of being a, an Excel user, or a, especially if you're a financial analyst, is not to be hiding the work that you do so that some people who come after you uh, are able to easily see the, the work that you've done and, and audit. Uh, but there's some cases like this in a table where you may not want people to uh, necessarily see your product ID. It's not so much that it's hidden work, it's just to make it more, cl more clear and easy for the end user. So there is a, a couple ways that we'll do it. Uh, I'll show you the easy way first because this is how you'll do it uh, more than 90% of the time. And so to hide a column, we're just going to select the column by clicking on the letter at the top of the column, in this case the A. All right, and so once we do that, we are going to right click and then select hide. Okay, and once we've done that, column A is missing. Um, you can kind of see that the border uh, at the top there is slightly different than elsewhere. Uh, and what we can do is unhide that if we want to by doing un, uh, undo. Uh, the second way we can do it, and just so that you understand where these things are lo located in Excel will be valuable for you, is on the home tab in the ribbon if we click on home we're going to go over to format into hide and then we're going to select hide columns all right so once we do that that column is gone and we want to do the same thing to row number three again this time i'm just going to right click but we could do it the same way through the ribbon i'm going to click hide and now on the left hand side you'll see that there is no number three uh, we skip from two to four, and then there, there is that little bit of an indicator here uh, just to show us that uh, there is something missing there. Now, uh, if you're a financial analyst and hiding calculations, again, I, I, I'd be upset if someone who worked for me were to hide some rows. Uh, what they can do is through the, uh, the data tab and do what's called grouping, which is a little bit more explicit in showing that you've hidden something. Uh, so that wraps up the first objective for us here. All right, next we're going to work in the quick access toolbar. Is, um, and so that is this section of the Excel window right at the very top. And this is, I think for a lot of users, is very neglected. Uh, if there's things that you do frequently, uh, you can put them up there and then you don't have to navigate to them through the... Uh, through the ribbon. Uh, for some things, it, it may be something that would normally take either you know multiple layers in the ribbon or um, multiple key commands in order to get there. One nice thing with having things in the quick access toolbar is by hitting the uh, Alt key, is you, you can now just select any of those actions by using one of the number keys. So if you have eight or nine items up there, each of them just has a number, and I can hit Alt 1 or Alt 2 in order to access it. Uh, without having to use multiple keys to go through that command. So let's uh, work on editing this. And so what we're going to do is click on our quick access toolbar drop down menu. We are going to go to more commands. And what they would like us to do is to select the calculator button. And they've, they've given us a clue in that it's not available on any ribbon tab. So we can choose commands here. If I select this, we can say not on the ribbon. And that will narrow things down for us. The other thing is that once we're selected in here, I know I want to find the calculator. So if I hit my C key, it skips to the C section in this list. I don't have to scroll down. And there's calculator. So I am going to add this by clicking the Add button. And once it's over here, it's at the bottom, which is going to be on the right-hand side of our Quick Access Toolbar. And they've asked us to put it on the left. So to do that, I'm going to click the up arrow button here on the right-hand side until I get my calculator all the way to the top, which is the leftmost position. Next, they'd like us to add a separator. And a separator is right here at the top of our list. I'm going to add it, and it comes right after our calculator because that's where uh, it was highlighted. Otherwise, we could adjust where it's at, again, moving it down or up with these arrows. Now that I hit OK, when I look up here at my quick access toolbar at the top, 
you'll see our calculator button uh, followed by a separator and then the ones that were already listed there before. All right. Next, they'd like us to create a quick access toolbar for only the current workbook. So to do that, we're going to go back to our quick access toolbar dropdown. We're going to select more commands. And now on the right hand side where it says customize quick access toolbar, we are going to select for Excel 1.4, which is the name of our current workbook. On the left hand side, they've given us the clue in the direction and that it's on the insert tab the buttons that we want. So we will filter down to those by selecting this. And once we're in here, we need to add three buttons. The insert combo chart, insert picture, and insert table. So those are the three buttons we need to add. And again, you probably won't remember how to do this in six months time uh, directly, but you, you will remember that you've, you've seen it before and that'll make uh, doing it a second time that much easier for you. So now that we've done that, we will click OK. And now you'll see on the right hand side the three new buttons at the top here for us. Lastly, for this one, we need to move it to the, below the ribbon position. And we do that by using the drop down, selecting show below the ribbon. And now the buttons are down here in this grayish area rather than up at the top in the green. All right, lastly for this is to hide now a worksheet. So we've hidden rows, so you'll notice that our row 3 is still hidden, our column A is still hidden, and now we need to actually hide a tab. Uh, again, the, the quick and easy way you're going to do this is by selecting the tab, highlighting it, and then right-clicking on it. Um, now I'm going to readjust my monitor here so that you can see this. So now if I drop down to hide, that tab is now no longer viewable in this workbook. It's still there and all the data hasn't disappeared. It's not deleted. You just can't see it. Now, uh, if you want to bring it back, uh, it's similar. So you would uh, select any of the tabs in your workbook, right click, uh, and you're going to now see an unhide option. That's not there unless there are some hidden tabs. So it won't always be in that contextual menu for you. So we'll select unhide. And there is the name of the sheet that we had hidden. We'll click OK. And then again, just to help orient you to the, the ribbon in Excel, I'll show you another way to do it. Um, and it gives you the option to use a keyboard path to do it this way as well. Uh, so this time we're going to go into the Home tab of the ribbon, into Format. We go into our Hide and Unhide, and we're going to select Hide Sheet. So that way, if, I don't know, if your, uh, your right mouse button doesn't work anymore, you'd still be able to, to do it by using the menu there. Thanks for watching. Um, make sure to subscribe uh, so you know when the next video gets put up. Also, if you think this is valuable, I, I'd appreciate it if you would uh, click like. Um, it First off, it, it tells me that I'm doing a good job, which is great for someone with low self-esteem like me. But more importantly, it tells YouTube that these, val these videos are valuable. And uh, so it will help other people who are in your circumstances and are looking for some guidance on these things to find it easier. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in part two.